you guys. Uh, today it's time to change the oil in my 1967 Piper Cherokee 140 and I thought I'd share uh, with you guys my process. Oil changes are something a private pilot can do himself and so we're going to do that right now. Uh, I like to change my oil right after a flight uh, when the engine and the oil are good and hot that way uh, I think that the hot oil drains more completely than if you did an oil change on a cold engine. So we're going to start that process. Come on over here. All right, engine is good and hot. All right, the engine is good and hot. Just pushed her back into the hangar. Got gloves on so I don't burn myself. Okay, first thing I want to do is show you where the drain plug is. That little brass uh, plug right down there is where we're going to attach our drain hose. Oops, sorry, I get you. All right, all right, I got a sweatshirt on so I don't burn my arms on the hot exhaust. This is my drain hose, 30 inches long or so, uh, maybe 36. This is what I'm gonna use to drain the oil. Okay, uh, I've got uh, a container it's already got some spent oil in it uh, for recycling. I'm going to drain using this hose from the engine into that container. So, here we go. Okay, this hose goes on the end of that. Make sure we have the hose in the bucket. Okay. Okay, the hose is on. Now, you lift and turn, which holds it open and gets the oil draining. Okay, I'm gonna let that drain for a couple hours. Okay, now we come around to this side, we open the cowling. Right in here, as you can see, is our oil filter. I'm going to start off by taking a hammer and a screwdriver, putting a small hole in the oil filter so that it gets air in there. Take a hammer and a screwdriver. I want to get a hole in my oil filter to aid in the draining. There we go. That little hole right there is all you need. That lets air in, which helps the filter empty. Uh, it also helps the rest of the oil uh, be, have a vent to make it drain easier. So. We're gonna let that go for a couple hours and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. It's been a couple hours. The uh, oil's been draining. Uh, I just took the plug or the hose off of the drain plug. And I got a towel down there, cleaning up a, a few drips of oil, getting ready to walk over and remove the oil filter. Got to get in here with the wire snips. Cut the wire. Like 
that. Remove the wire. All right, remember the hole we put in the filter? Duct tape. Put the duct tape over the hole so that when you start to spin the filter, it does not drip out. There we go. Duct tape over the hole. One inch. Okay, got a one inch socket here. I'm gonna put it on the filter. Hard to do with one hand. Put it on the filter and loosen. my hand now. That plate down. Yeah. Would you hold the plate from the other side? Alright, my buddy Mark is going to stand on the other side and hold this paper plate under the filter so that when we start unscrewing it, it'll catch the residual oil that's still in the filter. Put the filter right on the plate. Set it on there? Mm hmm. Towards the back. Yep. You got it? Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Opening up the new filter. I'll pull it out. This one is a CH48110 1. It goes on a Lycoming 0320 E2A. Open up a new quart of Aeroshell uh, 15W50. And get some fresh, clean oil on my finger. And put it on the seal. And we're going to screw the new filter on. Okay. I'd snug it a little bit more, but I, don't grab it where you wrote because it is smear. If you can grab it on the end, just put it a little bit tighter than that. Okay. Still going? Yep, keep going. That's good. Okay. Okay, we've got the safety wire started. Mark's got a safety wire pliers twisting away. Camera's not too close. I hope it's not blurry. five twists past the end and bend that up so nobody cuts their finger reaching in there. Excellent, excellent job. All right, now we have to add the uh, oil. I'll pull it out of the hanger. I'll run the engine, get the oil through the filter, wait till the pressure comes up. We'll put it away and that'll be it. Now, this is a great way a private pilot can save a little bit of money by doing his own oil change. All right, here's my last quart of oil going in. There we go. And 
the dipstick off. Put it in. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to start the engine, let it run up. I want to see my oil pressure come up, and I want to know that the oil has traveled through the filter. there's any oil leaks around the new filter we put on or around the drain plug to make sure it's not leaking. Run my finger on the back of there. That feels clean to me. around the other side where I can look into the bottom of the cowling and see if there's any, any drips. Alright, there's our tube where we drain the oil and the cowling is still clean and dry. I think we did a good job. <laughs>